Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you all of my journal essentials and basically just my favorite journaling supplies. This isn't all my stationery, but I just picked some of my most used things and what I would consider my journaling essentials. Let's just get right into it. So starting with the actual journal, I selected two types of journals. First, I have these two, which are by the same brand, and I recently bought these two when I found them because they're the same kind of notebook as the one I'm currently using. So the one I'm currently using looks like this one. I got a second one of this one as a backup in case I didn't find another journal like this, but the cover of my current journal is covered in stickers. Now, I got these not for the covers because I plan on just covering them with stickers because I don't really care for the covers, but it's about the inside and actually kind of the outside. So what I like is the outside of this journal is like this clear PVC material and the sides are just stitched together. So you have this clear cover. To me, it serves as like a protective cover, which I love. And then this is just a decorative page. So I guess you could even rip this out if you wanted. Like, you could try. Or cover this up if you want. But what I do is I put the stickers on the plastic part. So then you can open it up to see this page if you want to. But what I really love about this journal is how the left page is the grid. And the right side is lined and has a place to circle the date. Which I love. Because I love when pages have this little date thing at the top. Because it reminds me to actually date my pages because it's important for when you're looking back on your pages in the future. All the pages are like this and I really love this because it keeps me from getting bored in my journal. It switches up the pages I use and I just really love it. Plus it's just a normal size journal so it's pretty good. So that's not a problem at all. And the pages are good journal pages too. As in, like, they don't bleed through easily, and they're just, like, fairly good quality pages. I have three versions of it now. I found this one at Target, and these two I found at a FedEx store, but I didn't even know that they had different designs, so I'm really excited about these because I really enjoy, like, the inside covers. I don't like how it has words on the outside, but I can just cover that up with my stickers, so it's fine. Same with this one. I like this pattern in the inside, but I don't like the letters on the clear cover so i'll just cover them with my stickers but it just looks so pretty the back one matches and this one's plain pink on the back these are my new favorite kind of journals this is something that's new for me i switch up my journals a lot i like to be in new journals and keep it interesting that way but i just wanted to show a journal that i really enjoy for this video in case you are looking for one yourself and again if you are looking for a journal to get these are my other essential journals and not for my normal journals, even though I think these would be great for just a normal journal. But the ones I got, I think I got it in a two-pack on Amazon, but I know I got these on Amazon. They're just clear cover grid page notebooks. They're spiral and both have this black strap. This is what it looks like. I really like the light grid and how it looks. There's something so like clean and minimalistic about these journals, but I use them for my reading and then my film and media journal. I haven't fully showed these journals on my channel, but I wanted to show these just because I love the journal itself. And with these, instead of putting stickers on the cover, I just decorated the first page so then the plastic acts as a protector. Then to the next biggest section, we have my stickers. So for my stickers, I just selected one thing, and that is my Bando sticker booklets. Now, these are like nice stickers, but I've always loved these so much because it comes in this like neat little booklet so you don't have stickers flying everywhere. And then on the inside, you have a variety of fun stickers made by individual artists because on the back page, you can see how many artists worked on it and you can look up the artists, which is really cool. But I just love how it comes with such a variety of stickers so I can get a lot of different uses out of it. And it's like convenient. When I travel, I always bring at least one of these booklets because 
then I don't have to select specific stickers that might not even fit what I'm journaling about. Here it's like I'll, I know that I'll be able to find something within one of these sticker booklets. But as for the actual booklets, I have these three. I have the issue four, the issue five, and the issue six. I got these two on Amazon after I loved this one so much and these ones are like the prettiest ones. But this one, so as I said it was the first one I got. As you can see it's an absolute mess and it would look a lot prettier if there wasn't stuff all over it. But I actually spilled ink all over it and so that has really sucked because it's actually it's all in it and all over it but I still hold on to these figures and love them. I think this one you get the most variety. Let me try to flip through this without breaking it. So it's done by color and so it covers a lot of different topics and a lot of different things. So this is one that I know if I want to like have specific stickers for things I'm writing about and stuff like that. I'd probably pick this one because there's so many different stickers and I can choose by color and I feel like they're smaller so... I've always loved the black and white section. You have the black and white and then there's the rainbow section. The rainbow page is my favorite I think. But then in the back, you have these rainbow dots and these flower stickers. In the back, you have all the artists as well. As you can see, the pages fall out easily, so these pages are a mess. And my specific book is a mess because I got ink all over it. So then for this one that says you deserve all the stickers, which is issue 6. These are out of order right now. And now I need to look up issue 1, 2, and 3 and see what I'm missing. I think this one honestly might be my favorite out of the three I own. This one I consider, like, in my mind, kind of the mental health sticker pack. The stickers are so aesthetically pleasing, and they're happy and cute. When I say, like, mental health one, I mean because it, like, has, like, the always growing, things like that. A lot of ones about growing, honestly. <laughs> and there's, like, a lot of plants. Then animals are so cute. Like, feeling good, positivity, empathize. Look on the bright side, strength, kindness, gratitude, set an intention, things like that. I've used a lot of the more mental health kind of ones. And these books just come with so many stickers. I've had these for kind of a while now. Oh, that one just drinks some water. Be kind to yourself, love yourself. But yeah, I think this one's my favorite. It's just very aesthetically pleasing to me. And then in the back of it, the ones like with multiple, these shiny little blob shapes, rainbow smileys, and then the artist. Then we have the one that says more stickers on it, and it's issue four. This one, it's like each page is a different style done by a different artist. So you can clearly see like the different artists and different styles on each page rather than like them just being all mixed together. At the bottom of each page it says the artist. Got some plain smileys. This is the one that has a lot of bigger ones. I used all of these. I was gonna say I use them the least, but I actually love the bigger ones to use. Fills up a little more of my page rather than it looking like random tiny stickers. I love these letters too. They're a lot of fun. Just a lot of different cool ones. And these ones have the brand. Okay, now time for the smaller items. First on these list of basics is my scissors. I got this pair of scissors in a paper gang box and they very quickly became my favorite pair of scissors ever which i feel like is kind of a weird thing to have a favorite of they're really pretty but they're also really nice these are my big scissors that i use at my desk and i keep it at home but then we have smaller travel scissors which we have this pair of mini scissors that i just got at staples recently and they have a fun jelly texture not only are they the jelly ones but they also have like bumps and stuff on them and they just feel really cool but really just any mini scissors like this i have two pairs from target which i think i got from the ub brand which right now with the back to school supplies out at target you'll be able to find some more of their mini scissors there but yeah these ones were from staples though my favorite scissors journaling essential is this travel scissors so they take up less space than just these small ones like this. So especially if you have a narrow pencil case where it really only fits pens, these are perfect. When I was in Texas, I got to go to a Daiso for the first time. But then I also went to one that was right by their Daiso called Kino Kanua. You know what? I'm going to have to just put up the text 
because I actually don't I don't remember what it's called but I'd also been to one in New York but while I was there I got these pair of travel scissors and all you do is you take off the lid and then there's a little textured part for your thumb you just push up and then the scissors just naturally want to be like this so you just push down to cut with your scissors and they're just so cool to me i know that they make ones like this in like japan and stuff but they don't have like these cool ones here except for when i went to a japanese stationery store i was able to get it but it's just it's so convenient so those are my scissors then on to glue another basic staple glue or tape you know whatever i need to glue in pictures and just a little bits of my day receipts packaging you know first of all i always have some kind of glue stick i have multiple sticks of elmer's in my desk drawer but i brought out this one by glue g-l-o-o -O. and this one was the one where i had a video like do really well on tiktok with this glue and people were getting mad that i spent money on this glue some people thought it was cool anyway I just got it to try out then. I wasn't like saying I always get it. But the reason it was so special is because it's a square glue stick, which I love so much. It's nice when you have nice sharp edges to glue. And when you're gluing circular things, it's better to use a circular glue stick most of the time. But this also does well. It just, it makes a lot of sense to me. But it's not something I'm just like going to repurchase as my basic because I could just get the Elmer's or whatever the cheapest option is but these ones do have a nice smell and they're just really cool if you're looking for aesthetic glue i feel like this is pretty aesthetically pleasing then i have some kind of tape runner usually right now i got the elmer's one elmer's tape runner i got this at walmart and i've had different ones in the past i've had the craft tape one or crafters tape i don't know what it's called i've had the tombow one the muji one my first one ever was the muji one and that one sucks it, it ended up falling apart and really did not last long I see people a lot of the times with this Elmer's one, so I got it when I was at Walmart, and so far I really enjoy it. I recommend this one or the Tombow one, I think. Whatever the crafting one I got was just slightly different than how these are. I think these ones are better at Elmer's and the Tombow ones. It just has tape on this, and you push down and go across your page. Ignore the accent. But it's really strong, it holds things in really well. So if I have something, maybe a page is thicker or something, and I'm afraid of it not gluing super well, this is stronger and helps hold things in better, especially with like photo papers and stuff. I recommend something like this, and I love it so much. Then for washi tape, I wanted to pick out some washi tapes that I really enjoy or use often. And I wanted to pick ones that would be easy for you guys to access and purchase if you want. Because there might be people here viewing this looking for good stationery essentials to find. Or they're just building up their stationery collection or whatever. I've selected it's really just two brands to recommend. These top two are just grid tapes. I have these as well as like multiple other colors of grids, but those are in my desk drawer. But I just picked the black and white one to use as examples. But I got a set of grid washi tapes off of Amazon. I'll try to find the exact one that I got and link it, but you can also just look up grid washi tape because i use this and the colored ones a good amount they're definitely essentials for me and it's really easy just to find on amazon they're not expensive and they work pretty well for me they're just a good basic because the grid is such a plain thing but it's also spices up a little i mean it's not just a solid color yes these are good basic ones but then for the colorful ones i can't tell where i got this one i thought this one was part of my scotch tape washi tapes but it doesn't say scotch in the inside so maybe it's not but this one's cute i don't know where it's from oh wait i had gotten it at staples i'm pretty sure i'll leave this out of the mix here i gathered some of my scotch tape washi tapes now i was skeptical of these at first scotch tape you know the tape brand i started seeing them at target but recently i have become even more fond of them because these bottom three down here 
I got recently and I found a ton of fun really nice looking tapes from them. So originally I had gotten this one in a set. Now I use some of this set for journal kits sometimes and I got this pink one at a Staples. Whenever I go to Staples it's when I go and visit my sister. It's the one around where she lives because I don't have one. But I really like this pink one. It's just, I don't know, just got some texture to it I guess. But I've realized I really like the scotch tape washi tape through this pink one because I really love the, I guess texture of it. It's a really nice washi tape. Some washi tapes I found don't really stick well to everything but this one they stick well but it's still nice like texture I guess but it feels pretty solid and I really enjoy that about them. But I would say most of them are going to be more solid than um, some washi tapes because a lot of washi tapes are normally thinner material. I mean, I'm not saying all of these are not thinner material like those, but I'm just saying that these might be a little thicker than most. But I really like them. And then this one with stars is one I used a lot as well. Then the other thing I love about them is that they come with a lot on the roll. And this is what has been my favorite thing about them because then I don't feel super guilty or precautious when I'm using the washi tape. You'll find with some washi tapes that there's not that much tape on the roll. But with these, I think you get a pretty solid amount. The pink one's like the same size as these now, but these are my newer ones by Scotch and you can see how much they come with really. I mean, I've already used some of it, but it's not gonna be that drastic of a change. It comes with a pretty solid amount and nothing you'll go through too quickly. I think it's enough that you'll definitely get your money's worth. When I went to Staples last, because I just visited my sister to help her move and so I got to go to her Staples, there were so many really cute patterns and I was really excited about the ones I got. These ones are just hands which I don't know I just like them. I thought it was really fun. This one has become a new staple. This is a simple blue and white grid. Like I said it's a really nice basic. It's good quality and it's one I use a lot now. Also with some washi tapes they'll rip apart pretty easily so it's kind of hard to peel it off and get a solid long piece of washi tape like you're trying to get in the first place but these don't have that problem because they're pretty strong. But then lastly I got this roll with basic Basically the primary colors and just a load of patterns on them. And this one's just really fun. And so those are just some great washi tape options if you're looking for some. Now time for pens. So for my favorite black pen, just my basic black pen, the one I write in my journal with, I do like all my writing with them, is these Muji pens. I use the 0.38 millimeter ones, which is like the smallest pen tip size. As you can see, these two are running low on ink. That's how much I use these pens. I've gone through and emptied multiple of these pens because I love them so much and I use them so much. The reason why I love these pens and I use these pens specifically is that they don't bleed through my pages no matter what journal I'm using and also they are smooth so the line doesn't break up as I'm going. I used to have this problem as I was writing where the pen would break up like it wasn't working and so I would be trying to write down these thoughts really quickly but my pen wasn't really working so it made it hard to get down my thoughts as they were coming to me pretty quickly and I did not have time to try to get my pen to work in the middle of my writing. So with these I do not have that problem and that makes me happy. They just look really nice. They're black and not like in a grayish way. They're just they're, they're pretty darn black. They also have color versions of these but I don't actually use those but I mean I know I would enjoy them. I just love the black pens. Then for my marker essentials we have mild liners. These are just the example mild liners I brought out. First we have the original mild liner, which they are double sided, a smaller tip on the end, and then the chisel tip up here. I like trying to find all the colors I can. I don't like the colors that look like highlighters as I said in my back to school video. For my examples I selected ones that weren't the highlighter ones because they actually have some really fun colors like this red, yellow, and green ones that you wouldn't normally find. So these are definitely 
Bentley Staples, as well as the brush tip ones by Mild Liner. The brush tip Mild Liners are my favorite brush tip pens ever. I love them so much. I love the way they feel when I write with them. As you guys know, if you saw my back to school video, I got a set of them for school and I can't wait to use them outside of school once I'm done with school. But I have used the Tombow dual tip pens before and for me, they do not compare to the Mild Liners, at least for what I'm using them for. I think the dual tip ones would be better for more art type of stuff, but for journaling and like calligraphy and stuff, these are superior and I love them so much. Even though I don't even have that many until now, until I got my ones for school, but then again, those are still just for school, so yeah, but even with just the ones I have, I'm obsessed with them. And then as for other stationery supplies, I love going to Etsy and finding things there. I really love this shop called Yay It's Vika. I like getting stickers from there, especially individual stickers for the covers of my notebooks, and I love washi tapes. I rarely get washi tapes from Etsy, but when I do, I love them. And yeah, just any kind of other fun stationery to add to my essentials, I go to Etsy for because I love supporting small artists. And I run my own Etsy, so I kind of know what it's like to run an Etsy business and I just want to support everyone else. Just how it makes me happy when people support me. I want other people to get that. And then for just like stickers I put on my journal. I do love using All Things Lily Ann stickers as I bring up in a lot of videos. So you can just go to like Redbubble and of course Etsy like I said or my own Etsy which is Star Stationery Supply on Etsy. It's always in the description. But yeah those are basically my journaling essentials. Hopefully this was helpful. Maybe you found some new stickers stationery to find or maybe you just were interested in what kind of basic stationery I love. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you in an upcoming video. Hopefully a new flip through will be coming out soon and thanks again for watching.